A major upgrade to Piqua City Schools is coming with a price tag to the taxpayers. Two News reporter Kelly King is asking why the district uh, decided to build new schools instead of renovating the old ones. Behind this fence is where Favorite Hill Primary used to stand. Now it's being demolished. It's part of a $55 million project through the Piqua City School District to demolish old schools and build new ones. The sounds of bulldozers resonate up and down South Street as an old elementary school building is demolished. It's one of five buildings tumbling down. Piqua City Schools made the decision to demolish rather than renovate its schools based on the Ohio School Facilities Commission's recommendations. The commission has rules and regulations that are supposed to be followed and does an assessment of all the buildings in the district. The buildings did not meet the requirements for renovation. We were occupying buildings that were built almost 100 years ago. No air conditioning, um, limited technology, although we did do the best we could with what we had. But all of our new buildings have upgraded technology, air conditioning. Kurt South is the business coordinator for the district. He says 53% of the funding comes from local taxpayers, which they voted for. The rest comes from the state. The $55 million price tag covers this demolition, as well as building new schools, all of which are up and running. The buildings come with upgrades not only to their fire alarms and sprinkler systems, but also to technology in the classrooms with Wi-Fi and Chromebooks. While the school district is leaving the past in the dust, it says the new facilities will help students create a bright future. The students and the staff are not fighting the building to do the educational piece. They're able to do their educational piece without worrying about the building. Demolition on this site should be complete within the next few weeks. Reporting in Piqua, Kelly King, 5 on 2.